or not, you can use a quarter inch six tooth blade to cut out the dovetails for beautiful joint work. Let me pull that apart. And so full dovetails here, half balanced dovetails on each edge like that. And then we use the dovetails once they're cut out to lay out the pins. Now here's how it goes. I have my layout done, so I want to leave the line and I just simply make that cut by leaving the line down to the layout marking gauge line, which is the thickness of the board. Turn it off, let the blade come to a stop. Once that's done, I repeat the process, leaving the line the same way, and that will give me my dovetail. I always go down to that marking gauge line and stop, turn it off, and repeat that process for all six layout lines. So the next thing I need to do is go to my workbench to chisel out this using the Frank Klaus technique. So the bandsaw gives me those long with the grain cuts and the cross grain work needs to be done with chisels. Then once these are chiseled out, I use these to lay out the pins. And once I have the pins laid out, I can come back to the bandsaw, cut those long running angles out going with the grain, and then a little bit more chisel work, and we'll check the perfect fit. I have the pins laid out, and the X's mark the scrap, both surfaces, because I'm going to have to cut some of the cuts, three of them, for the pins on this side with the table tilted down and locked at seven degrees to this side. Then I rotate the table down to seven degrees on the other side, and make the corresponding cuts. Do not cut into the pins. Leave the pins. So keep that cut into the scrap area. And go down to your marking gauge line. Perfect. Once that stops, I'll tilt the table, lock it at seven degrees, and make the other three cuts, and then it's over to the workbench. So let's see how everything comes together. I'm going to have to ease that in. So this is the first look at that dovetail cut on the bandsaw. And I would say it's looking very nice. And that is how you can cut dovetails on a bandsaw.